it's prone to try to you know you can Hi everyone, my name is Harjot and you are watching For Love Gadgets. In this video, we will review the Clearview cover for the Realme 3 Pro. Now this is another great cover that we'll review and after this, there are four more covers that we are reviewing. Yes friends, you heard it right, four more covers and you'll be surprised to see them. On that note, like the video, share it with your friends and family, comment and let us know if you have any question, give your feedback as it really helps and also do subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon as it really supports and motivates us as we spend so much money so that you could get to know what is that you should buy and what is that you should skip. As far the review is concerned, we'll do everything. We'll see the fit, the finish, the quality, how is the cover, is the viewability good, whether it's sunlight or pitch dark. Also, we'll try to fit a locally bought tempered glass. So we'll do everything which will make you feel confident whether you should buy it or not. So here we go. So guys, apologies for the noise that may come up because today there is high traffic and the only room that I have where I make these videos is adjacent to a road. I'm not of a stature wherein I have a soundproof room, so please bear with me. I'll just quickly take this off from the casing to see how's the first impression of this cover. I'll keep this aside as well. Uh, now I'll turn on the flash as well. So if you see here, and the texture is really good. Trust me, you would not gonna feel as if you're buying something cheap. This is really good. If I move inside, I like the fact that they have put this texture uh, here as well as in the sheet here as well but then they could have moved it here as well around the corner because these can still be scratchy to the phone this is quite thick right so this is quite thick trust me you would not gonna face any problem this would not gonna be quick you know quickly breaking if it falls from your hand so it's gonna be sturdy and it's gonna be tough is my you know impression of this if i look into this sheet which is the front sheet it's quite flexible so i don't see it breaking soon as well as you can see it has quite a good, good flex right right so that is also good we'll soon take this you know wrapper off as well as we put in the cover so first uh, impression is good i'll just kind of you know try to you know you can see that you know uh, this is also quite flexible here there's no flex but here the flex is because of the cutting this is a weak spot so you can see i'm kind of you know flexing it as well so which is good all right so this is gonna be 65 grams plus minus so it would be minimum 60 grams that you should consider now with the phone this will gonna be basically 239 grams deal so the phone is basically for around 178 or 74 which realme says with this cover it would be around 239 keep in mind that this would be good 240 235 grams of weight that you'll be carrying with you one thing that i've noticed is that the cover is on the tighter side so it would be a little tricky to put this on it's not a loose so you know it fits quite easily so first what you have to do is you have to slide it here like this once that is gone you have to make sure you put it like this here and then you have to uh, stretch this to the outer side so as you do that it will fit in so this is how this cover gets on and trust me taking it off is also a little tricky and uh, we'll cover that later as well now since this cover has a depth to it as you can see from this side the camera module is protected we've also got the i love temper sheet here the link to the same is in the card you can have a look into it on the top the noise cancellation cutout as you can see as well as at the bottom now accessing the fingerprint scanner would not be a problem this cutout is also perfect so with respect to cutouts there would not be any issue you would see now let's quickly peel this sticker off to have a look at it okay there you go so it really looks nice so guys take note that the screen protection is not great here because with the front flap off if the phone is dropped in this manner definitely the screen will break unless it's protected by a tempered glass and also if the tempered glass is a glass one it will break away unless it's a flexible one so screen protection is not good because you can see clearly if i bring it even more closer so this is here the cover housing is finished and this is the tempered glass so it's way up than this okay now let's see if this glass is prone to scratches i'll try to scratch here and as you can see that these scratches are getting registered here see these lines i'll just wipe them off to see if they can be removed no they would not so definitely it's prone to scratches more than what this cover was let's see if it's dropped i'll just try to hit it hard with this opener and see if it kind of put some dents or what is the status
we'll see quickly for some scuffs yes there are some scuff that has got registered at the bottom so guys with those hits you might find the panel looking good from the outside as you can see i'm putting in some light here and even if i turn on the flash you can see that the panel looks good but let's move inside and see something different did you see what i'm trying to say here so with those hits this got cracked so now you can understand how good this would be with respect to falls so guys this is to show you if a locally bought tempered glass will fit or not as you can see there is space to spare in all sides i'm just kind of tapping here to show you that so if you fit in a tempered glass other than what you've got on the phone you will not face any problem so hope that clears that point as well so let's talk about the viewing and the touch experience from this sheet. It has not been great guys because one with the 100% brightness that to I am indoor this is the kind of experience it will get and trust me none of us keep our screens on 100% brightness maximum we go 50 or 70% so this is not good. Number two if I just quickly tap it here you can see the touch response is good and if I just go back I was able to go back but what if you use a swipe up gesture key I go to settings from here I just tap it here and now if I go to convenience aid and then I go to navigation keys and I use swipe up gestures now if you see I can scroll down but you know I cannot go back so it's not working at all it will only work if I have virtual keys so keep in mind that from the bottom the touch would not work in this cover and if you love using the swipe up gestures or as a matter of fact swipe gestures from both sides that also doesn't work see but if I just go here so keep that in mind please I'll just show you the glimpse of the environment so that you know uh, you do not feel as if we are lying so you can see that it's pitch dark I'll just turn off the flash you can see there's no light now as far the viewing experience of this cover in pitch dark is concerned let's turn on the light backlight itself you can see that we are at 50% brightness and trust me you might find it a little better from the view of the camera but trust me as I look into the phone directly it's not good at all let me take it to 100% and now it's a little better i'll quickly tap here it's a little better but then uh, not too good not you know fantastic i must say uh, maybe for some personal work if you're doing so one may not be able to look into as to what you're doing in daylight the experience would gonna only only get worse now how to take this cover off now you have to do one thing from one side take it off like this it will come up easily but then from here you have to start from this side this is how you'll be able to take it off and slowly it will come off so this is the best way that you can take the phone off from this cover so guys let's conclude with pros and cons of this cover as far as the pros are concerned good camera protection good fingerprint protection the cutouts are spot on the texture at the back is great and the texture inside is great however it doesn't run around the corner the look is good it looks premium it looks trendy the fit is great the finish is great the quality is something i'll discuss later it's 50 50 percent from my side you can use this in this way as well to view content which is also good coming to the cons number one at the bottom there is no protection so if you drop the phone like this and the surface is uneven it can definitely put a scratch on the phone bezel or the bezel may break as well depending on how the surface is too with respect to the viewing experience uh, you would have to keep the battery 100% and then too you will be able to, only able to view inside as an in internally or indoor as we saw in the video outside forget about it now coming to the touch uh, we were able to use the touch I mean we were able to operate the screen from the cover itself but then when it comes to the navigation gestures they didn't work so in case you use navigation gestures then this cover would not you know suffice for you because you will face problem unless you use navigation keys then this is the cover to go for then you can still opt for that also i would like to highlight that the tempered glass you know is way above the case itself so if you drop the phone like this and the tempered glass you know can break unless it's a flexible one and in case there is no tempered glass on the screen off at any sort the screen will bear that impact so i have to keep in mind also i mean people use this cover and they are happy but then you have to keep in mind that you know it might be the first instance it might be the 10th instance that that moment come when you regret buying this cover and at this stupid price of 800 or so online which is available you know i would not recommend this cover so i will only recommend it as a you know case for show rather than go 
I will not recommend this as a daily driver considering you are confident of the fact that yes, I don't drop the phone much, uh, you know, hardly I drop it in a six months or so. But then if you are into a work, you know, if you are into field work and you drop phone very often, then you have to keep in mind that, you know, something to the phone may happen sooner or later. Now, out of all the interesting things that we saw, the most interesting part was the breaking of the front panel, which I really didn't imagine. On that note, it's a wrap guys. Do let us know if you have any query and we guarantee that we'll reply in 24 hours. Uh, please do share the video with your friends and family as it helps the channel to grow. Apologies once again for the sound that the background, it has been a very busy day. And last but not least, please do subscribe the channel as it gives us a lot of motivation as we are putting in a lot of effort. And seriously, that means a lot to us. Thank you, thank you so much for all the love you have given. On that note, take care and have a nice weekend. Jai Hind, you were watching For Love of Gadgets.